Hello, Butler County High School sports enthusiasts. You're dialed in to a live broadcast on the Butler County High School Sports Reports Network. Tonight, we are here in Taylor High School's gym. Been here quite a few times the last couple of years in this Division IV sectional tournament. Where it is, the Cincinnati Christian Cougars taking on the Ripley Union Blue Jays. Cincinnati Christian coming into this contest. Winners of four out of their last five. They are head coach by Ben Gillins tonight. Cincinnati Christian coming in with a 7-10 and ten record. This is their first sectional contest as they had a buy coming into this bad boy. Ripley, Ripley Union is out of the Southern Hills Athletic Conference. They are 5-9, and nine, coached by Rex Woodward. Talked to Rex prior to the contest, and the Blue Jays, uh, you know, just just trying to get through some adversity with uh, with COVID and, and and making sure that they are, um, you know, in tip top shape coming into the, the the postseason here. But he said it was there was some trials and tribulations as they were quarantined four times, and um, you know, it's it's one of those things to to get past, you know, adversity. Um, just in, just being being a high school program, let alone COVID. The starting lineups for Southern Hills Athletic Conference's Ripley Union. Number zero, Braden Hansen. Number 11, Daniel Patrick. Number 13, Braden Bennington. Number 15, Gabe Fife. Number 24, Cody German. We've talked to, uh, talked to Evan Dennison, who covers the Ripley Union uh, programs quite often. They said, hey, you know what? We're going to probably call Bennington, Fife, German, and Patrick's names quite often in this contest. And for the Cincinnati Christian Cougars out of the Miami Valley Conference, number one, Emmanuel Harris. Number two, Matthew Cardwell. Number five, Caleb Rafstek. Number 10, Braden Rogers. And number 12, Cody Anderson. I'm Chris Vogt. Riding solo today, we want to thank Jackson from Cincinnati Christian for helping us out with our camera and team manager. Carwell is leading the way for the Cincinnati Christian Cougars with 13.8 points a contest. Rife Stick has 10.3 points a contest. And Bembry and Anderson coming into this contest at 5.6 points of contest each. Tonight's refs are Doug Harmon, Jeff Ayers, and Paul Mayfi. Last year, New Miami took down Ripley Union 63-55 here in Taylor. So the, the Miami Valley Conference programs are, they are familiar with Ripley Union when it comes to this time of the tournament. We're going to take a quick break before we hit tip. You're watching the Butler County High School Sports Reports Network. Looking for future leaders we can believe in? Look no further than the high school student athletes right here in Ohio. High school sports teach young people how to be effective leaders. It includes learning to listen, accepting responsibility, being a good role model, and it's about respect. The result, it transcends sports. It gives us hope for the future. This message presented by the Ohio High School Athletic Association and the Ohio Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. Welcome back to Taylor High School. I want to thank Larry Herges, Athletic Director for the Taylor Yellow Jackets. Always accommodating down here. I want to thank you for joining us for this Division Four sectional boys hoops contest. And the tip goes to the Blue Jays. Man-to-man -man defense started out by Cincinnati Christian. We got Bennington's going to find Patrick over on the left side, double teamed by a plethora of Cincinnati Christian Cougars. Looks like a 1-2-2 two, two zone by the Cougars coming up with a little fire there on the defensive end. From the outside, number 13, Bennington. And that's no good. Rebound by number 24, German. And he's going to take it back out. The ball finds its way to Patrick. Patrick inside to German. 
German off the back of the iron. Rebound by Bennington, and that's in. Two to nothing, Ripley up on top. Cardwell will man the point for Cincinnati Christian. Reifsteck from the outside, and that's no good. Rebounded by Fife. Back the other way. From the outside, number 24 is German. No good. He does get his own rebound. Fife up and in. Four to nothing. Ripley with the quick start. 6.30 to go here in the first quarter. Carwell. On out to Harris. Harrison, he drills a three straight away. A lot of lob passes for Ripley as Cincinnati Christian's putting together some you know, one, two, two zone at the moment. And from the outside, Braden Hansen. Just inside the three point marker. Anderson inside. And that's off his foot. Out of bounds. Full court press by Cincinnati Christian. And that's stolen by Rogers. This is it to Matt Carwell. Up, and he'll go to the line for two. If you're just tuning in, four quick points by Ripley Union. And we're sitting at six to three at the moment as Matt Carwell will go to the line. First shot from Carwell was good. Carwell is shooting 63.8% from the line, and he makes it stand up. Six to five. Ripley Union stolen on the other end by Cincinnati Christian. Harris scrambling around for it, but it's corralled by the Blue Jays. Driving, stop, pop is Bennington. No good. Rebound by Patrick. Patrick, no good. Put back up by five. Ripley Union getting two, three tries on the offensive end. And Ben Gillins, who was man in the helm tonight, is going to call a timeout. 5.25 left to go in the first quarter. Ripley Union up on top of this Division Four sectional contest. You're watching the Butler County High School Sports Reports. Network. The Superstore invites you to save. Money, that is. Overstocked pre-owned vehicles have forced us to wholesale direct to you. Our loss is your gain. Everything is on sale. Cars, trucks, vans, SUVs. Every deal will be made. Keep your stimulus check and just show up and drive. If you want it, we've got it. Every style, every color, every model. It's used cars for everyone. Only at your Performance Toyota Superstore. Go to PerformanceToyotaStore.com. Welcome back to the Butler County High School Sports Reports Network. Eight to Welcome back to the Butler County High School Sports Reports Network. Eight to five, Ripley with a three-point advantage. Maddie Carwell is going to slow it up after the timeout. Almost loses it. Regains possession. Emmanuel Harris over to Cody Anderson, and they're going to call a foul. That's the second team foul. And that foul is going to be on Braden Hansen. That's his first team foul. Team second for Ripley Union. Matt Carwell on out to Emmanuel Harris. Emmanuel Harris from the outside, no good. Rebound, Cody Anderson. Cody Anderson did walk. Took a couple steps there. Like we were talking about before, Rex Woodward and the Southern Hills Athletic Conference's Ripley Union program. I'm just trying to get through just a bruising of COVID issues. But you know what? We were talking to both both coaches coming in. We're here. We're in the tournament. And, you know, you can't be any more thrilled at this. Inside to five. Loses possession, and Cincinnati Christian's going to grab it. Here comes Harris. Under five to play in the first quarter. Harris drives, and that's in. 
Eight to seven. Cincinnati Christian pulls it to with them one. Went back the other way. It's Patrick. Patrick double teamed. On over to German. German stops, pops. No good. And that's Cody Anderson. He grabs it away. A baseball pass to Harris, who ends up finding Bembry. He misses, and here comes the trailing Blue Jays. And that's blocked by Harris. We're going to stay right here. Four eleven to go here in the first quarter, eight to seven, and that's going to be over in the back. Ripley Union coming into this contest at five and nine. Cincinnati Christian out of the Miami Valley Conference Gray Division is seven and ten. They've won four out of the last five. Last Friday they defeated Miami Valley. Christian Academy, 50 to 40 at MVCA. Bembry gets hung up, gets the ball up, and drops it in. Cougars take the first lead of the contest on that bucket, nine to eight. Both programs trying to get into a, a little bit of a groove here. Jump ball, possession will go to Cincinnati Christian. Action tonight. Lakota East takes on Colerain in girls' hoops. That is at six. Lakota East takes on Milford at West Claremont in boys' hoops at 7.30. Hamilton and Princeton at eight at Fairfield. We'll likely swing on over there after this contest to grab some images and provide Hamilton Big Blue some coverage. And tomorrow, Madison takes on Summit Country Day. Silver Knights from the outside is Bembry, and he drains it. Trapping at the half court. No look pass underneath to number 15. And that's five, and that rims off. Maddie Carwell stops, drives to the right side of the hoop, and I think there is a a Blue Jay that clipped the ball as it went up. Here comes Ripley. A quick stop and pop from the Blue Jays' end. And Cincinnati Christian is going to take it themselves. They're going to call that a jump ball, and that's going to be Ripley Union. Both programs still trying to find some sort of a groove. Maybe the uh, tournament jitters get into both programs. Ball seeing the, gr the, the ground a lot more than... Uh, both programs would like. Full court press opportunity for Cincinnati Christian. That's stolen by the Cougars. Cody Anderson is going to take it himself. No good. Going straight up and he gets it in there. 14 to 8. And looks like Rex Woodward is going to call himself a timeout. And it's 14 to eight, Cincinnati Christian now with a six point lead. We will take a quick break, 2.21 left to go in the first quarter. You're watching the Butler County High School Sports Reports Network. Looking for future leaders we can believe in? Look no further than the high school student athletes right here in Ohio. High school sports teach young people how to be effective leaders. It includes learning to listen, accepting responsibility, being a good role model, and it's about respect. The result, it transcends sports. It gives us hope for the future. This message presented by the Ohio High School Athletic Association and the Ohio Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. Never pay more when you shop Route 4. Performance Toyota. Welcome back to Taylor High School. I'm Chris Vogt, riding solo this evening. I want to thank Jackson from Cincinnati Christian for helping out with the camera. Full court press again by Cincinnati Christian out of the break. we got a slip. A little bit of a wet floor there. Drive Maddie Carwell up. No good. Rebound Bembry. And that's going to be kicked out of bounds. Cincinnati Christian ball. Checking in is Reifstick. And Brandon Rogers. Matthew Carwell inbounds the ball. On over to Corey Rogers. They're going to call him for traveling. 
Had some happy feet there. Again, Cincinnati Christian providing the uh, pressure. Half court. Underneath. To five, and five puts it in there. 14-10. And that's stolen up. Nope, ball hits the baseline, and Cincinnati Christian will ma maintain possession. Maddie Carwell inside the right stick. Right stick trying to make a move to the hoop, but he's going to. He's going to grab a foul from Gabe Fife, and that's his first personal foul. Three team fouls. From the outside, number 10, Brandon Rogers, no good. Rogers tagged with a foul. 139 to go in the first quarter. Once again, full court press by Cincinnati Christian. And that's stolen by, and it's working, stolen by Parnell. Parnell, up. Oh. That was Corey Rogers with a bucket. Ripley Union gets past the press. Cougars with a six point advantage. Drive to the hoop. From the outside, number 11, Daniel Patrick, and that's in there, 16-13. Ripley hanging around. Zone defense by Ripley Union. Since that Christian trying to maneuver around it. Inside to Bembry, and that's off the backboard. And Cincinnati Christian will be tacked on with a foul, and that's going to be on Parnell. 43.1 ticks to go in the first quarter. Checking in is Harris. Out goes Carwell. Going to give Carwell a breather. Ripley inbounds the ball. Underneath is five. On over to Shields. Dish underneath. Good dish from number 24, German. Two five and five puts it in there. It's 16 to 15. From the outside, back the other way. And that's Bembry. A lot of action going on in the Cincinnati Christian end. As Harris steals it, but is caught immediately with a travel. We'll see if this pace will keep up the entire contest. 19 to 15. Cincinnati Christian with the advantage. It's stolen by Harris. Harris up and under, no good. Three seconds, got to heave it up there. And that's out of bounds. Out of play, but that's going to take us to the second quarter. A fast one. Cincinnati Christian up on top, 19 to 15. We'll be right back. You're watching the Butler County High School Sports Reports Network. Looking for future leaders we can believe in? Look no further than the high school student athletes right here in Ohio. High school sports teach young people how to be effective leaders. It includes learning to listen, accepting responsibility, being a good role model, and it's about respect. The result, it transcends sports. It gives us hope for the future. This message presented by the Ohio High School Athletic Association and the Ohio Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. 
Performance Toyota Superstore invites you to save. Money, that is. Overstocked pre-owned vehicles have forced us to wholesale direct to you. Our loss is your gain. Everything is on sale. Cars, trucks, vans, SUVs. Every deal will be made. Keep your stimulus check and just show up and drive. If you want it, we've got it. Every style, every color, every model. It's used cars for everyone. Only at your Performance Toyota Superstore. Go to PerformanceToyotaStore.com. Put eight minutes on the clock to start this second quarter. Cincinnati Christian has a four-point advantage. Shot from long range, no good, and that's going to go Ripley Union's way. Ripley Union gets past the press. From the outside, number 24. German pulls it to within one. Underneath to Cody Anderson, and that's blocked by Hansen. Carwell sets it back up from the outside. Roach approaching the seven minute mark of the second quarter. From the outside is Brandon Rogers, no good. And here comes Ripley Union. Ripley Union loses possession, that was Bennington. Here comes Ripley Union. Cody Anderson tried to take a stab at a long pass at the half court mark, but it goes out of bounds and Ripley Union is gonna keep possession. Cincinnati Christian grab control of the lead just a little bit ago, but Ripley Union not, not going anywhere. Offensive board galore for Ripley Union, just can't put it in there. And that's going to be a foul on Cody Anderson. Corey Rogers checks in, as does Caleb Reifstek. Ripley Union setting it up from the outside, trying to get something going from way outside is Gurman, and that's good. He drains it. Ripley Union takes the lead back, 21-19. Cody Anderson inside, gets it back out to Harris. Both programs manning the Defensive zone. Right stack from the outside. No good. Rebound Cody Anderson. Carwell from the outside. No good. And that's rebound by Corey Rogers. Off the mark. Co <laughs> Carwell. He gets himself another chance. And we're all knotted at 21. Ball plucked out of bounds. Ripley Union is going to retain possession. 5.46 to go. Offensive foul on Ripley. A moving screen by Daniel Patrick, which the Cincinnati Christian fan base and the contingent was asking for that. And it looks like they got it. 21 21 if you're just tuning in. I'm Chris Vogt. Thank you for joining us on this Division Four Boys High School Basketball Southwest District contest. Looks like they're man to man defense for Ripley. Right stick from the outside. 24 21. Ripley Union gets the ball past half court. 
No look pass. Mishandled by Fife. And here comes Harris the other way. And that's in for easy two. 26-21. Nice stop. Bennington thought he was going to pass it or shoot it, but ended up getting inside to five, and he gets himself an easy two. Ripley Union trailing Cincinnati Christian 23-26. Bembry is coming into the contest for the Cougars. Bennington brings it across home half court, but the ball trails out of bounds. Blue Jays will retain possession. German. On the outside to Bennington, and he drops a three. All knotted up, 26. 4.30 left to go here in this first uh, first half. From the outside, Caleb Reifstek, no good. Big rebound by five. Let's see what Ripley can do here. Are they just going to keep going to the hoop, or are they going to try and get things uh, settled down? I'm going to stay right here. That foul is going to be on Bempery. Cincinnati Christian's fifth personal, fifth team foul. German, don't leave German open there, guys. He'll drain. Oh, that's in and out. Rebound by Bembry. Here comes Maddie Carwell. Maddie Carwell on over to Corey Rogers. We're going to slow it up. That was a good, good thinking there by Emmanuel Harris as Caleb Reifstek was heading to the hoop, sailed over his hands. 26-26, just under four to play here in the first half. We are watching the Butler County High School Sports Reports Network. Looking for future leaders we can believe in? Look no further than the high school student athletes right here in Ohio. High school sports teach young people how to be effective leaders. It includes learning to listen, accepting responsibility, being a good role model, and it's about respect. The result, it transcends sports. It gives us hope for the future. This message presented by the Ohio High School Athletic Association and the Ohio Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. Quite a back and forth contest, but back and forth enough for the game to be tied at 26. Reifstek with the steal. Easy bucket. 28 26. CCS up on top. There's a timeout. Thanks to the trap by Cincinnati Christian, Blue Jays are going to call another timeout. And guess what? We're going to actually hang right here and go through the Twitter, the Twitter world and see what's going on with the contest from around our coverage area schools at the end of the first quarter. Fairfield 15, Lakota West 14 in Division I sectional action at West Claremont. Aaron Blankenship, athletic director for Fairfield with that update on Twitter. Division II sectional, McNick up on top of New Richmond, 24 to 12. And a heads up, New Miami will take on. Let's see, New Miami is playing on Thursday. They've got Middletown Christian at 7.30. Yep, here at Taylor, we will be streaming that contest. Myself and Joey vote on the call. Get, get to reunite with 
the man, the myth, the legend. Inbound by the Blue Jays, out of the break. On over to Bennington. Bennington finds German, or pardon me, that's Shields. German drive to the hoop, dish to Fife. No good, but, and that's going to stay. Pardon me, yeah, there we go, yep. I was gonna say, Cincinnati Christians ball. Brandon Rogers coming in for the Cougars. That's one thing that assistant coach Ben Gillins has been doing. Uh, it's just been filtering some of the, the bench players to, to give the starters a rest. And this is a young, young program. You've only got one, two, two seniors on the, on the program. And those seniors are Cody Anderson and Sebastian Baer. I'd imagine we'd see some bright things coming for Cincinnati Christian in the future. Matthew Carwell. Underneath the Bembry, no good. And that's going to be a foul after the rebound. I think they're going to call that on Bembry. That's his second foul. He's going to find the bench. Jacob Parnell is going to come in for him. Three minutes and nine seconds to go in this second quarter. German bringing her up. Drives, loses control. And somehow the ball finds its way into Fives' hands. And we're tied up at 28. I'd imagine if it's like this the entire first half, this is how it's going to be in the second half. Not much separating both programs. Maddie Carwell steps back out, finds Anderson. Anderson tried to hit a streaking right stack, but throws it away. And here comes Ripley. And he does get called with the travel on Braden Hansen. Harris comes in. Out goes Brandon Rogers. Almost a five second violation, but Carwell does get it in. Emmanuel Harris says, let me take it. Let's run some offense here. Rife stick. Stops, drives to the hoop. Nice little baby jumper over the outstretched arms of Shields. Cincinnati Christian now up on top, 30 to 28. Cincinnati Christian supplying the pressure. Ball hitting everybody's hands, and here comes Harris on a fast break. Easy money, 32-28. Back the other way. And it's going to be a foul on Emmanuel Harris. And that's the Cougars' seventh foul. So the last minute and 49 seconds, Ripley will be heading to the line after every foul for the bonus. At the line is Braden Bennington, a six foot junior. First shot is off the mark. And Corey Rogers grabs the rebound. Rife stuck from the outside. And that's good. Stolen by Cincinnati Christian. Rife Steck's going to try it again. No good. Did the fade away. Probably could have followed a shot on that. Largest lead of the contest for Cincinnati Christian. Rebound by Five. Five doing the dirty work for Ripley to keep uh, keep some second chances alive. Since that Christian's margin cut the five as we're reaching a minute to play here in the first half. Carwell, driver to the hoop. Nothing going. And that's a rebound by Shields. Shields has it on the ground. Says it's mine. We're going to call a jump ball now.
Now we're back to man-to-man -man for Cincinnati Christian. German keeps possession of the ball as he went to the ground. And they're going to call foul on Emmanuel Harris as he tried to pluck that ball away. He did pluck it away. He must have got an elbow. And that's going to send German to the line. German doing most of the, most of the work for Ripley from the outside. However, Fife doing some cleanup work and getting some second chance points. German's first shot is good, 31 on the scoreboard for Ripley. Second shot is good, 35-32, three-point advantage for the Cougars. Anj Singh coming in for Ripley. We're going to change his name on my score sheet. His number is four, not three. Sometimes it happens at the end of the season, just the mere fact that jerseys rip. <laughs> Jersey number changes. Motion offense for Cincinnati Christian underneath the Parnell. Parnell off the backboard. He calls bank. 37-32, and that's going to be stolen by Cincinnati Christian. Maddie Carwell drives, takes it to the hoop, and he's going to go to the line for two. 10.8 seconds left to play as Cincinnati Christian is trying to expand the lead. First shot is good. Carwell shooting a little under 70% from the line. That's the guy you want to line if you're Cincinnati Christian. Second one, nothing but net. 39-32. And that's going to be a turnover by the Blue Jays. I think, I think the turnovers are hurting Ripley. I think Ripley is uh, turning the ball over a little bit more than Cincinnati Christian, but Cincinnati Christian's ball handling hasn't been just as uh, <laughs> this is good. Maddie Carwell. And that's going to be no good, and that's going to take us to the half. 39-32. We'll get some stats for you as much as we can. We'll have much of a, uh, of a halftime show, but we'll do the best we can. As Cincinnati Christian is going to take a 39-32 lead in the half. You're watching the Butler County High School Sports Reports Network.
Looking for future leaders we can believe in? Look no further than the high school student athletes right here in Ohio. High school sports teach young people how to be effective leaders. It includes learning to listen, accepting responsibility, being a good role model, and it's about respect. The result, it transcends sports. It gives us hope for the future. This message presented by the Ohio High School Athletic Association and the Ohio Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. Never pay more when you shop Route 4. Performance Toyota. Performance Toyota Superstore invites you to save. Money, that is. Overstocked pre-owned vehicles have forced us to wholesale direct to you. Our loss is your gain. Everything is on sale. Cars, trucks, vans, SUVs. Every deal will be made. Keep your stimulus check and just show up and drive. If you want it, we've got it. Every style, every color, every model. It's used cars for everyone. Only at your Performance Toyota Superstore. Go to PerformanceToyotaStore.com. Welcome back to Taylor High School. I'm Chris Vogt. Thank you for joining us for this Division Four Boys Sectional Contest. I want to thank Larry Hurges, Athletic Director for Taylor Yellow Jackets for always hooking us up for prime seating. We've got about 4.30 to go until we start this third quarter. 39-32, yeah, Cincinnati Christian up on top. Now, you know, fast-paced game and it's because both programs are forcing it to be that way uh, a lot of turnovers when a lot of turnovers happen there's probably going to be a lot of easy shots either that or there's going to be a lot of second chance shots leading the way tonight is five he's got 14 for ripley union and that's because he is providing some second chance opportunities for missed shots underneath the ripley union hoop german has eight bennington has five Patrick has three and Hanson has two on the Cincinnati Christian end. Reifstick has 10. Harris has nine. Bembry has eight. Caldwell has six. And a plethora of Cougars have two points. Corey Rogers, Anderson, and Parnell. I'm going to go to the Twitterverse and see if we can get any updates for you guys. 5-14 left to go in the third quarter. Fairfield 33, Lakota West 32, a tight one over there in West Claremont. And if I got any other stats or scores to send your way, I certainly will. And yeah, this is breaking news about two hours ago. The Ohio State Athletic Association announced that the boys' state tournament for Every division, Division 1, 2, 3, and 4, will be played at Dayton, Dayton's UD Arena. It's the first time that UD Arena will be hosting the state tournament since 1987. We'll thank Mike Dyer for that. Appreciate you there. Always coming up with the good stuff. That's all I got at the moment. Here's another, another, uh, another score for you. McNick, 33. New Richmond 13, 449 to go in the third quarter. But for right now, it's 39 32, Cincinnati Christian up on top of Ripley. We're going to take another quick break and we'll be right back on the Butler County High School Sports Reports Network. Toyota Superstore invites you to save. Money, that is. Overstocked pre-owned vehicles have forced us to wholesale direct to you. Our loss is your gain. Everything is on sale. Cars, trucks, vans, SUVs. Every deal will be made. Keep your stimulus check and just show up and drive. If you want it, we've got it. Every style, every color, every model. It's used cars for everyone. Only at your Performance Toyota Superstore. Go to PerformanceToyotaStore.com. Looking for future leaders we can believe in? Look no further than the high school student athletes right here in Ohio. High school sports teach young people how to be effective leaders. It includes learning to listen, accepting responsibility, being a good role model, and it's about respect. The result, it transcends sports. It gives us hope for the future. This message presented by the Ohio High School Athletic Association and the Ohio Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. Welcome back to the Butler County High School Sports Reports Network. 
39-32, under a minute until we will see third quarter action. Five past 14 for Ripley Union, and Reifstek has 10. Thank you guys for tuning in. We get a bracket here from the OHSAA for the sectional division four down here in Taylor. Now New Miami will play Middletown Christian at 7.30 on Thursday. Cincinnati College Prep will play Miami Valley Christian Academy. We'll play Thursday at five o'clock. And we're gonna be set to start this third quarter. And we're starting the third quarter. Thank you for joining us. I want to thank Krista, athletic secretary or helper for the Cincinnati Christian Athletic Department for joining us. We'll send Jackson back to his team. Ripley Union with a defensive stand. Here comes German. Looks like we're going to slow up this third quarter. And German, wild pass on over to his teammate, Bennington. A lot more passing this go around for Ripley Union. German from the outside, that's no good. Rebound by Cody Anderson. And we're going to come back the other way. Harris stops, quick pass inside, tried to get it to Cody Anderson, but stolen by Fife. Fife has steals and rebounds on the Ripley Union end. Quick pass over to Bennington. Bennington from the outside. No good. Rebound, Fife. Fife quick put up. No good. I think Fife was looking for a foul there, but didn't get it. Maddie Carwell drives on over to Fife. Uh, Reifstek, no good. And that's a rebound by Patrick. Patrick finds German. German driving to the lane. Up and under for German. Harris drives. Cody Anderson. And that's going to be a foul on Braden Hansen. We we're talking about the OHSAA Southwest Dix District bracket over here at Taylor. Cincinnati Christian Ripley Union. This one they will play. The winner of this one will play at 5 p.m. on Saturday, February 27th. They will play the winner of the next contest, which is Felicity Franklin in Fayetteville Perry. Aaron pass, and we're going to head on back the other way. Emmanuel Harris is going to be slapped with a foul. That's his third foul and Cincinnati Christian's first foul. Daniel Patrick's first shot is good, 39 to 35. We'll give a shout out to Tara Clark as well, Cincinnati Christian photographer, always appreciative of, of her work. His second shot is no good. Blue Jays are going to keep possession from the outside. It's Patrick, and that's no good. Reifstek with the rebound. Here comes Maddie Carwell.
Maddie Carwell from, pardon, that's not Maddie Carwell, that is Corey Rogers, no good, and that's going to be an offensive rebound by the Cougars. Rife Steck, stutter step, drives the lane, no good, and that's blocked by five. Cody Anderson gets her back. Rife Steck drive. He gets himself two points. And that's two points by Cody German. 41-37. Maddie Carwell drives. And that's in. He's got himself two and one opportunity. Saying before, Maddie Carwell shooting roughly 67% from the line. Carwell's and one opportunity is good. Drops it down 44 37. Full court press by the Cincinnati Christian Cougars. German. Stops, pops, and that's good. 39 points for Ripley. Cincinnati Christian with the five point lead. Rive Steck at the top of the key. On over to Cody Anderson. Cody Anderson's going to take it himself. On over to Corey Rogers. Corey Rogers finds Carwell. Carwell driving to the hoop, and he'll go to the line for two. At Shields first, foul the contest. And that is Ripley's third team foul. Cardwell's first shot is no good. So yeah, Cincinnati Christian Ripley Union winner of this one will play the winner of Felicity Franklin and Fayetteville Perry, which is immediately after this one. That contest will be at 5 p.m. on Saturday the 27th. 45-39, CCS has the advantage. Bennington on over two. German, German shot is not going to count as he was on, on the floor. Reaching the 359 mark of this third quarter. German gets it at the top of the key. He thought he was going to shoot it. Cody Anderson supplying some defense, and it works. There's a skirmish for the ball, and Anderson does, in fact, come out with it. Here comes Carwell. Carwell, Aaron pass on over to Rogers, and that'll find. Almost found the, the cafeteria. German stops, picks up his dribble, gets it underneath the five, five. Guarded by Anderson. And here comes Cincinnati Christian as they come out with it. Cody Anderson with a Euro step drive. He lays it in. Eight point lead for the Cougars. 47 39. And Garmin trying to make a drive to the hoop, and he's going to be fouled by Corey Rogers. Maddie Carwell tries to steal, but the ball goes out of bounds, and that's going to stay Ripley Union's ball. Blue 
And that tipped out of bounds by Carwell, and that's going to be another throw in from the sideline here. Parnell supplying the pressure on Garmin. Parnell is going to get called for being a little too aggressive on the defense. Hey, if you're if you're if you're Ben Gillens, I wouldn't be too upset about that. But I would be upset about just leaving five wide open underneath. Cincinnati Christian is going to call a full timeout. We're looking at 47, 41. You're watching the Butler County High School Sports Reports Network. Looking for future leaders we can believe in? Look no further than the high school student athletes right here in Ohio. High school sports teach young people how to be effective leaders. It includes learning to listen, accepting responsibility, being a good role model, and it's about respect. The result, it transcends sports. It gives us hope for the future. This message presented by the Ohio High School Athletic Association and the Ohio Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. Performance Toyota Superstore invites you to save. Money, that is. Overstocked pre-owned vehicles have forced us to wholesale direct to you. Our loss is your gain. Everything is on sale. Cars, trucks, vans, SUVs. Every deal will be made. Keep your stimulus check and just show up and drive. If you want it, we've got it. Every style, every color, every model. It's used cars for everyone. Only at your Performance Toyota Superstore. Go to PerformanceToyotaStore.com. Welcome back to Taylor High School. It's 47-41. Cincinnati Christian has the advantage. Inbounds out of the break. Ripley Union is going to lighten up on the D there. Maddie Carwell crossover to Reifsteck. Reifsteck stop, pop, good. Easy six-foot jumper. Back the other way. Quick drive to the hoop by Daniel Patrick. Daniel Patrick gets himself two points, and we're looking at 49-43. Parnell matched up with Shields. Ball finds its way back out. From the outside, Rogers, good. Fifty-two, forty-three. Cincinnati Christian with its largest lead of the contest at nine at the moment. German, no good. He grabs it back, dished underneath the five, and five. He's he's got himself well over twenty points in this contest, doing all of his work inside the paint. Fifty-two, forty-five. Cincinnati Christian trying to pull away. But Rip, Ripley's still hanging around. Tried to find its way inside to Anderson. A forced pass there by Carwell. We're back the other way. German guarded by Rogers. German dish underneath, 2-5, and he gets himself an M1 foul by Cody Anderson. 52-47, creating some space and some lanes is Ripley Union as we're reaching a minute to play in the third. Gabe Fife. Going to add to his point total. No good off the back of the iron. Here we are. Still staying at 52-47. Blue Jays going to maintain possession as the ball... Goes off the leg. 
of Corey Rogers. German had a quick breather. Talking to Evan Dennison from the covers Ripley Union. He said that Ripley uh, doesn't do a lot of substitution. So I'm, I'm sure I'd imagine these boys are probably going to be tired after this contest. 52-47. Cardwell drives at the hoop and he's going to go to line for two. Ripley Union got to this point in the tournament after beating St. Bernard 59-44. That was on Saturday. Cardwell drops his first. 15.8 seconds ago. Rice Tech comes in. Cody Anderson heads out. And his second one's in there as well. Since I Christian supplying the pressure as we're winding down under 10 seconds. We're going to call a block as Bennington made a drive to the hoop. Bennington's first shot, money. Second one swish, 54, 49. Taking under 10 seconds here. From the outside, Rogers, no good. Saved from the outside. Good! Corey Rogers this time at the buzzer. 57 to 49, eight point lead as we head into the final frame of this Division Four contest. You're watching the Butler County High School Sports Reports Network. We'd like to thank you. We'll be right back. Performance Toyota Superstore invites you to save. Money, that is. Overstocked pre-owned vehicles have forced us to wholesale direct to you. Our loss is your gain. Everything is on sale. Cars, trucks, vans, SUVs. Every deal will be made. Keep your stimulus check and just show up and drive. If you want it, we've got it. Every style, every color, every model. It's used cars for everyone. Only at your Performance Toyota Superstore. Go to PerformanceToyotaStore.com. Looking for future leaders we can believe in? Look no further than the high school student athletes right here in Ohio. High school sports teach young people how to be effective leaders. It includes learning to listen, accepting responsibility, being a good role model, and it's about respect. The result, it transcends sports. It gives us hope for the future. This message presented by the Ohio High School Athletic Association and the Ohio Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. Final eight minutes to go here in this contest. Happy to join us for this Division Four contest. New Miami trying to pull away with things. Lead has it hasn't been higher than than nine. Five underneath spin move and that's good. Five five has been been doing some work. A lot of action over there under the Cincinnati Christian hoop. Quick pass from Rogers finds the baseline and Ripley Union is going to keep possession.
Ball making its way around the perimeter. German from the outside, and that's good. Drains it. Pulls it back to within three. Cody German keeping. Cody German keeping the Ripley Union Blue Jays into this bad boy. Under seven to play in this contest. Travel on Corey Rogers. Ripley slowly pulling away back that momentum. Ripley gets it across the timeline. Patrick, they're going to call travel on Shields. You've got to put that ball on the ground before you start moving the feet. As a result, since that Christian ball. Matthew Carwell finds Reifstick. Reifstick from the outside. Nets good. Back up six point lead for the Cougars from the outside. And that's a match by Bennington. <laughs> but wait, says Bennington. Carwell finds Harris. Harris says, look out. Harris over to Cody Anderson. Rife stick from the outside. And that's going to be out over the backboard. No good. Ripley Union. Rife stick thought he was feeling it. Patrick on over to German. German. And he's going to give him an elbow. Yep, German got caught with an elbow there and is going to go ahead and turn the ball over to Cincinnati Christian. Anderson over on the left side. Ball whips its way around. Back to Cody. Nice offensive play by the Cincinnati Christian Cougars. That was probably the best offensively run play on the Cougars in there. Five point advantage. Underneath, two point bucket for Patrick. Sixty-two fifty-nine. Driving to the hoop, no good. And here comes German in the Blue Jays. German stops, pops, and that's good. One point game, and that's gonna be a timeout. Cincinnati Christian, Ben Gillins and company, and we're gonna take a timeout as well. 4.29 left to go in this contest, 62-61. Cincinnati Christian still on top. Stay right with us. Looking for future leaders we can believe in? Look no further than the high school student athletes right here in Ohio. High school sports teach young people how to be effective leaders. It includes learning to listen, accepting responsibility, being a good role model, and it's about respect. The result, it transcends sports. It gives us hope for the future. This message presented by the Ohio High School Athletic Association and the Ohio Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. Back here at Taylor High School. 
where it's Cincinnati Christian clinging on to a one-point advantage. Ripley Union quickly strips away a nine-point lead from the Cougars. And here we are, 4.25 to go in the fourth. Carwell drives, gets some contact from Patrick, and that'll send him to the line for two. Let's go to the Twitter world here. West leads 56 to 52 over Fairfield with 28.4 seconds left. Carwell's first shot is good. Corey Rogers comes on in. And his second shot is good, 64-61. Cincinnati Christian with the pressure. Emmanuel Harris goes up for a shot, and then he'll end up getting fouled, and he'll go to the line. Yeah, Cincinnati Christian has an opportunity to, to, to sort of put that defensive pressure on the full court end just because of the mere fact that Ben Gillens over there on the Cincinnati Christian bench, his assistant coach, has an opportunity to... to to, to feed in some of his players off the bench. He's been doing it all day. Harris's first shot is good. 65-61. Braden Hansen checks in while Shields checks out for Ripley Union. And Harris' second shot is good. 66-65, five-point lead for CCS as we're reaching forward to play. Ball crosses midcourt. Drive by Patrick. Rebound, and they're going to call a foul on. Let's see what that foul's on. It fouls on Corey Rogers. 66-61 if you're just tuning in. Braden Hansen at the line for one and one. He drops the first one. We're going to head bonus for the rest of the way here, guys. Nothing changing that. Four minutes of bonus action. The second one's no good, but he gets his rebound. Hansen gets his rebound, and Blue Jays are going to keep possession as the ball hits off of Emmanuel Harris's hands. From the outside, Drano. Bennington pulls it to within one. 66 pick 65. Buckle up as we're reaching. Under four to play here at Taylor High School in this Division Four boys basketball contest. Carwell. On over to Harris. We're going to slow it up here. I want to thank Cincinnati Christian Athletic Boosters. Timeout, Time Cincinnati Christian. As we're looking at 3.22 to go in the fourth, we'll take a full timeout as well. Stay right with us. We'll catch some scores when we get back. Looking for future leaders we can believe in? Look no further than the high school student athletes right here in Ohio. High school sports teach young people how to be effective leaders. It includes learning to listen, accepting responsibility, being a good role model, and it's about respect. The result, it transcends sports. It gives us hope for the future. This message presented by the Ohio High School Athletic Association and the Ohio Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association.
Performance Toyota Superstore invites you to save. Money, that is. Overstocked pre-owned vehicles have forced us to wholesale direct to you. Our loss is your gain. Everything is on sale. Cars, trucks, vans, SUVs. Every deal will be made. Keep your stimulus check and just show up and drive. If you want it, we've got it. Every style, every color, every model. It's used cars for everyone. Only at your Performance Toyota Superstore. Go to PerformanceToyotaStore.com. Welcome back to Taylor High School. I'm Chris Vogt. I want to thank you guys for joining us on this Butler County High School Sports Reports live stream special. Cody Anderson. And that's going to be a turnover. Here comes Ripley Union. And that's going to be another turnover. Cincinnati Christian bodies all day long. Carwell drops it in. 68-65. And that's going to be a foul on Harris. He made contact with Braden Hansen. Braden Hansen is going to Head to the line for two. Three-point advantage for the Cougars if you're just tuning in. First shot is good. Second shot is no good, but Cody Anderson grabs the rebound. Matthew Cardwell is going to go to the line for two as Bennington got called with his first team foul. Car Cardwell's first shot is good. The second shot is good. Ball gets across the timeline. Stop. Pops is number 13, Bennington. We're looking at 70 to 68. Cardwell driving past Bennington. Harris. He's guarded by Patrick. Almost stolen by Bennington. And it leaves Carwell an opportunity to drive to the hoop, but he wisely pulls it back out. Under two to play. Harris drives. Nothing. Pulls it back out. And we're going to call a foul on Hansen. Away from the ball, but... Shields is going to go to the line. Pardon me, not Shields. Bembry. Bembry's shot is no good, and that's rebounded by Ripley Union. Here comes German. German gets it on over to Patrick. Patrick drives. No good. Rebound five, and that's good. Tied up. A minute 30 to go. We're tied up at 70. Harris slowing it up. Harris is going to take it himself, but wisely slows it up. Yeah. 
Nothing going as we're reaching under a minute to play. Going to hand it off to Carwell. Carwell. And that's going to be a timeout by Gillins. 50.5 to go here. Tied up 70 all. <laughs> You're going to hang around for this one. You're watching the Butler County High School Sports Reports Network. Looking for future leaders we can believe in? Look no further than the high school student athletes right here in Ohio. High school sports teach young people how to be effective leaders. It includes learning to listen, accepting responsibility, being a good role model, and it's about respect. The result, it transcends sports. It gives us hope for the future. This message presented by the Ohio High School Athletic Association and the Ohio Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. 50.5 seconds ago, 70 all here at Taylor High School. Cardwell on over two. Rife stick. Harris drives. And that's blocked. Here comes German with the rebound. 34 seconds to go. And we're going to sit up for this one. Ball gets back out to German. 25 seconds. Here we go. Five. Looking to give him a screen. German's going to take it himself. 10 seconds. German stops, pops, good! And that's good, Ripley Union will take the contest on a German bucket at the free throw line. And that's final. I tell you what, German set it up after the loose ball. Made a drive to the hoop. Stops and pops and hits it from the free throw line. And that's going to send Ripley Union on to the next round. A dagger of a loss for Cincinnati Christian, who ultimately had nine point lead heading into the fourth quarter. But that's it. That's it from Taylor. Taylor High School, 72 to 70. Ripley Union takes care of a Cincinnati Christian. Cincinnati Christian will finish the season at 7 and 11. Ripley Union advances to the next round on Saturday, 6 and 9. I want to thank you for watching this rendition of the Butler County High School Sports Reports live stream network.